Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Grind. My name is Omni and we're continuing Dragon Quest XI. We have brought Phenomenon back to its former glory as everybody has returned and their riches and valuables have been returned to their rightful owners as well. Oh boy. And so now we gotta go find Syl. Make sure he's alright. He might have been feeling a little bit down. Actually, you know what? I think I know where he is. He wouldn't be outside, outside. I think he went to the ruins. Where else could he have gone? It's the only other place we haven't explored yet. Right? Uh... Uh... He headed up the stairs. Yep. And he went further up. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Sylv. <sighs> if only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. <gasps> ah, you scared me! How long have you been standing there? I just got here. Ah, never mind. It... It was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? Yes, his... It was nice to see Son reunited with his da. But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. But I'm sure there are new bridges that can be built. Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... He's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. Correct. You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? Yes. Because with the power deep within one's soul and one's will, the determination to move forward can overcome any obstacle, no matter how big or small. Just like with boundaries. So... Some boundaries are meant to be broken and breached through, and to connect with one another no matter how hard they are, no matter how thick they, um, they've become, or no matter how distant they want to keep themselves. Anything is possible. And with Mordigan being as powerful and as evil, and as harnessing the world tree's power as it is, and he has fell in it from the skies, above to where people cannot return to when they once came. I believe it is possible even so. You really are a hero, huh? You know, sorts, but I think it's just more of just me. Just being me. Somebody's gotta put the rights in the uh it's gotta put the rights where the wrongs were. They gotta right the wrongs. You know, I thought it was enough, traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? So what are you gonna do about it, Syl? What I'm saying is... I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. Well... If that is what you believe... And if that is what brings you forward more, I don't But there's something I want you to help me with first. It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon, but I can't do that to my darling boys. Okay. What do you want me to do for that? So we have to leave them somewhere safe, with somebody who can look after them. Now, I know just the place and just the person, but... But... Well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? Of course. Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of Smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? Sure thing. Now, what I also so said was all natural. That's not me acting. 
Something that comes from the heart, truly overcomes any sort of boundaries. And with that, you can also see the sun shining again. If you truly are, if you truly have your will to keep going forward, that's exactly what will happen. any boundaries, any problems, any sort of way. And you know what? It'll work. You can do anything. Alright. Enough of the sappy sapness. Let's go. The parade needs to continue onward and I know exactly where. To Pewter Valor! Darlings, I have an announcement to make. My parading days are over. No! 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 That hurt my ears hearing all of them whine. Ah, 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 ah. But do not fear. It will only be for a little while. I will return as soon as the Lord of Shadows is defeated. <laughs> we... we understand, Thilv. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. And that will be me. So, guys, calm down. Calm down, guys. Please shut the fuck up. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylv. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And if anyone can show that rotten spoil sport what's what, it's you. <sighs> exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. There you go. Puerto Valor. Puerto Valor? Wait. There you go. It's clicking. It's clicking. It's clicking. Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's. So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrik. Such a sweet, simple boy. Oh! <laughs> All right, my little champions of cheer. Let's go show Puerto Valor how to party! Ah, terrible nightmares! Oh. <laughs> yeah! You can only imagine what his dad is like. I... I cannot fathom it. The boy is unrecognizable. And he has abandoned the name his father gave him. Don Rodrigo must be furious. Uh. <clears throat> Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo. The noblest and most revered of all knights. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. But he, he ended up kind of actually doing that, you know. But the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor never to return. Until now. <clears throat> and you tried to kill him. But perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor. The road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. After you. <sighs> well. I guess we're gonna have to march all the way over to, holy shit, 
Puerto Valo, huh? But I already saw that coming, so I'm gonna grab this real quick. Yeah. And, um, I had a feeling we were gonna go there eventually. I just jumped the gun a little too soon. Oh wait! Magic! What am I doing? I don't need to walk all the way over there. I can teleport! Ooh. I'm such an idiot. I've been walking all the way. I haven't even been using Zoom. Oh my god! Here we are. It's so strange. I thought I'd never see this place again, and yet here I am. Well, at least I came back with a bang. Wait a minute, but you've already been here a second time, even though it was at the gates. You go on ahead, honey. I need a second to... compose myself. Hendrick, grab him by the arms and let's drag him there. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember you. It's Dave. Blind me, so this... Uh, slow to the silver zone down. It's the um, it got it shiny. Blah, 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 blah. I can't read whatever you're saying. Where'd you come from? Whatever. Let's go on ahead. In the Don Rodrigo's palace mansion, whatever it is. We got to see this guy. Uh, buenos dias, senor. Don Rodrigo appears to be feeling better indeed. I believe he's waiting for me to find him in his room. You, please feel free to enter. And we'll grant you an audience in the meantime. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Rad, you get to go see him. I finally get to see who he is. He's a recycled character, right? Wrong. Don Rodrigo, it is I. Hendrick, it has been too long. Uh, uh, huh? Hendrick? <laughs> How many years has it been since you completed your training, huh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. Wow, okay. I thought he was going to be some short, stubby, fat bastard. Uh, remove the bastard part. But I mean like a recycled character, nonetheless. But no, he actually is a... a character. I have heard many tales of your exploits. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador! <laughs> Putting too much emphasis on that ever since he was twisted. I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. And here, over here, he's like, What? That son of a bitch son came back? I want to come! Oh well. Wait, wait, wait. As soon as I open the door, are you gonna be there? Nope. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Great. All right, Omni, looking for Sylvia. I, I think he went down to the big staircase at least to see. A, a proper dead serious after that. All right, great. Now I gotta go fetch him on the sea. Big staircase. Look, there he is. Look, who can mistake in that flamingo thing? Sylv, let's go. We got something to do. We gotta follow it through. You're here and there. Oh, hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? Yes. 
It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. But you can't confront your fan. And yet the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Well, you just gotta do it. It's something everybody has to do once in their life. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. Then I'll just bring him to you. Then you have no choice. You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. N not really. Oh wait, well, yeah, with Hendrik. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? Yeah. I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was... Love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. So you combined it with your skills as a knight. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. Mm. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no. This was my calling, to make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. That sounds weird. It, it, it's not, it's like the, the concept is fine, but I'm just imagining a piece of armor with teeth. Smiling and grinning with lipstick on like the Joker, but it's even weirder because you get a face on every little plate a Layer of plate armor. Oh god <sighs> You didn't have anything to say to me after that That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said So I left and I haven't seen him since. He sounded incredibly normal there. Ah, oh, dear me. That got a bit long and emotional, huh? Now you're back normal. But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact... Yes. Let's do this. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit. Don't get weak in the knees. Oh, and he's disappeared. Oh, no wait, he's right here. All right, well, let's get it over and done with. Slavando, meet Rodrigo. You can do it. You can do it. You can accomplish this. It's now or never. You with the feathers, you must leave. Uh-huh. Same old Gonzel. Garnazel. Well, sorry, honey, but you don't scare me. I knew you back when you, uh, when the sight of a spot of blood was enough to send you crying for mo for your mommy. Come on. How do you know my name? Um. And I bet you're still petrified of a little squeaky of a little squeaky mousies too. Hmm. I remember one time you accidentally picked one up instead of a brush to see you, darling. The look on your face was priceless. No, is it possible? Surely, surely you are not. So the penny finally dropped. So the pennies finally dropped, huh, lover boy? You, you come back. I thought I thought I'd never see you again. Ay ay ay, is um, is a malgro, a miracle. I'm so flattered to hear it. Sorry to leave you all on your lonesome for so long, honey. Now, do you... Now, you don't mind if I have a little look around the old place, do you? Come on, no, of course not. 
Please, this is your home. Look around as much as you like. This will be the first place to look. Hi, puppy! Caramba! That's a reaction. Norberto! You dare to show your face in my presence? And you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. I don't think you are. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for? Foolish boy. Huh? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, no, yes? Uh, not yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Uh, 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 Papi! Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. What kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it? Wait. Papi, did you say... knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Papi. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? See. How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. Oh, this is a touching reunion. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? I don't think he has. <gasps> oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, Sylv. You just... Uh, I wouldn't go that far, especially when he just... fucking wailed on you with words. <laughs> oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! Uh -oh. um. hmm? oh no, I actually came. <laughs> oh, what a lovely bedroom! It's so big. God, oh god, no, it's cringy as shit. <gasps> oh, don't tell me this is your dad, Sylv. 
He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. Oh, God! <sighs> it's like watching a bunch of little children. Do explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? It's all of his friends. <laughs> now, Papi, let's just pop this on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Where are you? Hey, hey, get your hands off of me. No. No. your foolishness boy I did not agree to this ah uh, yeah N neither did I oh don't be like that papi how can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part huh you promised uh, cheeky bastard and didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond huh? oh he twisted your words uh, oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So it's settled and right. <sighs> wow. Book. Yes. Platinum paint, uh, planning. Platinum headgear and platinum mail. Ooh, nice. What? Nothing. While he's distracted. While he's distracted. While he's distracted. Now run. Oh, damn. And you're so scared. Uh, there's just a few pals of mine. Right. Well, as that's settled. Alright, one final cutscene. <laughs> Listen to me, soldiers of Smile. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Sylv, don't go. Don't leave us. <laughs> oh, darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. I don't think so. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. <laughs> and no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. Yes. 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 Hit parade pet power. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. Glad rejoins the party. Sorry I was yawning. Oh god, that was a hard yawn too. That came out of nowhere. The salty stallion is all yours too. Thank course. god! She's anchored off to the east of here. With a ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea. Yeah, we can. <clears throat> and there's also another place that I haven't actually checked out either. It is the gate! Where we got the key, where we used the keystone. 
to get a good apple. In my ear, it's itchy. Switch ears. Ah. Ah, there we go. Alright, well, that go that does it for today's episode. I'm going to head on back. Yeah, now I'm gonna go in another episode, just ship right on out to the islands again to see what is on there and to explore. I'm gonna go back to uh, Galapagos, to Hado, to uh, other places hidden away in sugar, hunting iced tea like that, and hopefully uh, do something about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Here, leave a like if you did, subscribe to update more like my that. I remember that guy was Carter was home for all games to all games, so don't be afraid to recommend any game to me. Thank you, have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.